Hey guys, Scott Bryce from Performance Motorsport in Western Australia. Being a um, Australian manufacturer and exporter ourselves, uh, we always try to find high quality products, hopefully made in Australia, um, and made in Germany, made in Switzerland, but uh, the UltraVision lights are made right here in Australia, and I think Australia's got a great reputation now of producing some fantastic products, and we're happy to, to say the UltraVision lights have proved to be fantastic for us and our team. Uh, we've been running some high-end lights for the last sort of 15 years in our race team. We've had Hella HID Predators, the Xenon Gas Discharge lights, etc. The technology in the UltraVision lights now are just fantastic. These LED lights produce as much, if not more, light than the HID Xenon Gas Discharge lights we used to run some time ago. There's no delay in turning the lights on and off. The LEDs are absolutely instant when, when they fire up. So I think that the technology is definitely there nowadays. I've been waiting quite a while for the technology to catch up and I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with these UltraVisions. These guys are doing some fantastic work. Uh, we've had a lot of problems with spotlights in the past from different manufacturers, LED lights, and one of the main problems we've been having is electrical noise caused by inferior, cheap Chinese quality LED lights. Happy to say the UltraVisions have proved to be an incredible light. They, they work exactly as we expected. But the main thing for our team is that we're running the lights, it's not causing electrical interference and causing static and noise through all of our intercoms and all of our radio systems for our race truck. So guys, we've just moved into the workshop. We're with the trophy truck behind us here and my child's uh, little go-kart. Just gonna explain exactly what's been happening with the industry of LED lights at the moment. The transition from xenon gas discharge and halon lights to LED has been phenomenal. There's been some amazing advancements in technology. Unfortunately, it's also caused a lot of issues for race teams and, and people around, around the world. And some of those issues are caused, especially to us, in the relation to radio interference. The radio interference takes out our intercoms between the driver and navigator. It causes static and noise. It causes distortion. It also prevents us even hearing anything on the radio sometimes. Now the problems with these lights is not always a constant problem. Sometimes the problem doesn't appear until you've had the lights a couple of months and they start to deteriorate, start to make a lot of electrical noise. Um, some of them are very instant. I'll give you an example of an instant problem. This is a... It's very obvious when you're fault finding a radio noise that that's what's causing our issue. When we're having a radio noise in our trophy truck, we had the radio noise for months and months and we couldn't understand whether it was some coil packs we put on the car, whether it was a new fuel pump we installed, whether the new ECU was causing some sort of radio noise. It was an intermittent fault. So we're racing the car, next minute we get this The noise completely killed our, our picker. The guys were ripping the headsets off their heads, they couldn't hear anything. We're driving the car. With this noise, this noise coming through our headsets, we basically had to pull over and disconnect our intercoms. And then it would go away again, then it would come back, then it would go away again. And we couldn't figure out what was going on. It was something in the car causing this electrical noise, but it was an intermittent, hard to find fault. I think with these lights, it's very obvious. In the trophy truck, it took us quite a while to find the fault. We had to disconnect items, go out racing, go out testing until eventually we figured out it was the lights on the front of our truck. Now they're about $100 pair of LED lights. Pretty good quality, so we thought. But I tell you what, we put them on the car and as soon as we found out this was causing electrical noise, we ripped them off and we now have some high quality German lights up there. And there's a lot of good brands out there. There's Heller, there's Ultravision, quite a few. You guys just need to be careful in buying this junk and making sure that it doesn't cause electrical interference with you, or perhaps not even you guys. Maybe the team next to you is causing, getting all the, the static noise and you don't even know about it. So guys, when you're selecting your lights, just think about where these lights are coming from. Have a look at the, the, the organization and ask these people what sort of suppression they put into them, what sort of um, noise cancellation they've built into the circuits and whatnot. And if they can't answer you and they can't give you certifications about C certifications and whatnot, there's probably a reason behind that. Um, we've chosen to use the UltraVision lights on our, on our transporter and probably gonna be putting them on our race, race car very shortly. So we're looking forward to having a nice, long, reliable run of lights without having any more electrical noise. So guys, we moved out to the, the race transporter with the UltraVision lights. We're actually gonna do a live radio test. Now I'm gonna put this radio right next to the light, which is the worst thing you can possibly do to try and pick up radio interference. So the radio's on, it's on a UHF channel. So we'll just go to high beam and show you what, what happens. There's not one bit of noise at all anywhere from the light being emitted into the radio. Back to low beam, back to high beam, nothing. We've had to move the camera because the LED light was just killing the camera lens we had in the angle. So again, these ultra visions are absolutely awesome. Back to low beam, 
So we have no electrical noise in our intercom in the car, in our stereo system up in the truck, in the, in the radio between the race car, the pit crew and the repeater that sits on the trailer. And all I'm trying to do guys is just educate you that guys at UltraVision, they make a very high quality product, they do the noise suppression internally and you're getting a really good quality product with the, the new technology. So be very careful when you're out buying LED lights that 99% of the stuff out there is all Chinese crap. I've had a rant before about Chinese junk on the market and this is just another one of my rants. Be careful, don't buy crap, buy a reputable product and we can definitely vouch for the UltraVisions. We've personally tested them, you've seen our tests that we've done and we wouldn't be putting them anywhere near our race transporter or anywhere near our race car unless we knew that they're actually doing what, we, what they're supposed to do and they have the suppression built in. So guys, be careful and thanks for, uh, for watching.